Hello and welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is day six of Vlogmas. Um, if you hear noise over in the background, the dog of course is drinking out of her water bowl and Dave is making coffee because we picked up donuts after, yeah, this evening. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So I am wearing one of my patterns. This is a poncho. And this is the warm and striped poncho. Um, it is a free pattern. Uh, you can go to the link under Love Crafts and you can check it out over there as well as my other patterns. So let's get to today's video for today's yarn unboxing. Today we are doing uh, number six. Oh, I actually know how to pronounce this one. This is Rotterdam. Yeah, that's right, Rotterdam. So Rotterdam is right here right there that's Rotterdam and let me pull out the box and pull the chain that releases the next yarn oh it's a tall skinny one here we go. This is what the lighthouse at Rotterdam looks like. A lot of your lighthouses kind of flare out, but this one doesn't. It is literally straight up and the dog is still drinking. She's apparently very thirsty. So let's see what the yarn looks like for today. Ooh. Oh, and there's another stitch marker. Lots of stitch markers. This start, stitch marker has a ship on it. There you can see the ship. And here is the color. Two of my favorite colors together, yellow and blue. I love that color combination. My house is yellow and blue. Uh, this is hand dyed by Bly Dat Ikbri, it, which is a Dutch shop. It is 75% wool and 25% polyamide. So it has a little yellow in there too. You can see a little bit of yellow. Oh, I said there was yellow, I mean. So there you can see it real well. So yeah, this is really soft, so. And here is, here is what the material looks like this, this today. There's a different blue and white fabric. And this almost reminds me of uh, like mattress ticking. I'll turn the camera around and show you the dog because now she's, now she's wandering. She's scavenging, looking for goodies. So let me turn the camera around and you can see what she's up to. Oh, Cricket, there she is. Dave's got coffee going over there. And I've got a mess I need to clean up on the table here. Um, but I should show you just real quick some of my fall things that I have made before I take them apart. I got this ceramic pumpkin at an auction for $5, but I really like it. And then I have this bunch of plates over here. I forget where I got them, but they were really super cheap. But they're pretty, I like them. I don't use them very much, but I like them. So all of these are getting ready to get packed away because I'm going to get ready to get the Christmas stuff out. Let me hold this up so you can see this. This is an eight. This is an eight pointed uh, star Afghan. It's in cotton. And I actually, somewhere around the house, I have a tote bag that's out of this same uh, yarn. It was like three different colors and I just striped it. So that is there, and then I put 
some leaves up in my my little chandelier thing here. I don't overly do it for fall, but I will show you the other thing. I have some like random pumpkins sitting out, but I won't show you those. We keep our, there's one of my lighthouses. My daughter actually painted this for me, but this is called Cathedral Window. And I did make this, it's sewn by hand. I have one that my grandmother made that's hanging upstairs. Um, but I made this all out of fall colors, and this is what holds our masks and stuff. And yes, this is a baby bottle. Nobody's expecting. It's for something with church. And I just sit it on top of our shoe cabinet. So, the only other couple fall things I have is the wreath here. And a random white pumpkin with some fake leaves in it. There's Dave. <laughs> he does not lick from a bowl when I try to drink, when I try to film. <laughs> and then we have some chrysanthemums. And I've got a bunch of birthday cards. I have some over here and then there's some over on that table as well. That is a mandolin that Dave is making. He's still working on the finish, but I'll show it to you. He does that for a hobby. So this is just painter's tape on this. And there's what it looks like on the back. He's built quite a few of them, but that's one of them. Here's another one that he made too. It's a kit and you put it together and have to do all the sanding and the binding and and everything. Um, but yeah. Oh, the binding was already on there? Oh, okay. Dave said the binding was already on there, but this is what it looks like. And this is what the back of it looks like. So he did all the finish work on it. <laughs> he says don't look too close but and then he put a W on it for our last name that's in Mother of Pearl so that is it for today um, if you hear the ticking that's there's a clock right over here it's a, like a mantle clock but it hangs on the wall I'll turn it so you can see it because everybody always hears it in the background there it is so that is it for day six and I will see you again tomorrow Bye, everybody.